actually saying? I'm saying I fully support Hamas. They resisted the occupation. I fully support Hamas. You keep moving down. Don't give they up resisted the occupation. I fully support Hamas. These are shameful scenes, aren't they, Darren Grimes? Is it time for the protests to be ended? Yeah, oh, I would ban them. I definitely think, especially after what I encountered today. So I, w- I did a show earlier today, and one of our reporters uh, knew, well, she's in the news area, so she's a broadcaster for our channel. And she's called Catherine Forster, who I'm sure you all know. And uh, she's a lovely woman. She got into doing this kind of work through The Spectator. Later in life, she applied for a Spectator, which is a magazine internship program. And she was out there today giving a very impartial, matter-of-fact take on the protests and what they were calling for on this particular day. And this man with a megaphone was screaming in her ear that she's a fascist and that GB News must be silenced or something to that effect. And it really shook her. The police were stood by doing absolutely nothing. Now, I find it pretty hard to countenance that a a protest can be allowed to silence the free press. Mm. And I think that calling that man that you just highlighted there, calling for saying he supports Hamas openly, of course, as we know, a prescribed terrorist organisation in this country... I don't know how we can allow this to continue. I believe in freedom of association, freedom of expression, all the rest of it. But this has been going on week in, week out. It's cost the taxpayer tens of millions of pounds. Police resources are having to be pooled from outside of London. That's dragging away from infrastructure around the rest of the country. But, I mean, the majority of the people there were peacefully protesting. I mean, I was there. There were certainly some unsightly things which happened, and we saw that in the videos and the images that we have just seen. But if the majority of people are peacefully protesting, Darren, is it really the job of the state to stop them? I think when when actually you've made it... I forget who it was that said, look, you've made your point. James Cleverly. James Mm. Cleverly. And I think, actually, they have made their point... The UN, David Cameron at the UN, the Foreign Secretary, just called for and supported a UN resolution for a ceasefire. What more do they want? Yeah. The country has demanded a ceasefire. I, I have, I, and by the way, I do not support a ceasefire until the hostages are released. But that said, they've got what they wanted. What more do they want to extract from the British state? This is just the, them trying to spread poison on our streets, I think. Benjamin, it is a lot of people on the left who are attending these protests. Now, I know you don't necessarily share their opinion, but how do you feel about the protests being banned, given it is a lot of people on the left who are attending these protests? Well, look, I found this a really difficult one. So in France, President Macron, who is a centre-left politician, banned the protests after one or two weeks. So there haven't been these every yeah. Saturday as there would have otherwise. Now, I don't particularly like the idea of the state being that interfering as the French state so often is. And although I think most, a lot of Jewish people in London have said that they feel unsafe and they feel uncomfortable in central London. And so I think that's one of the reasons why it makes it difficult, because my instinct is that you shouldn't ban these protests. I certainly don't think the cost is a reason to ban them, because you could apply the argument to any political protest, because it costs a great deal of money for the police. Uh, But the problem is that I don't think the police are using the powers that they have at the moment. When you have that man in the clip that we just saw saying, I support Hamas, what he's doing there is a criminal... and gave a speech today and after that speech the crowd cheered from the river to the sea do you think it is appropriate for a sitting mp to be giving speeches in an environment where some people would argue there's such open anti-semitism would he do it if there were if the kkk were there screaming anti-black chants for example it's a total disgrace and there's absolutely no way any mp any elected official in uk politics should be advocating uh, that kind of tone that kind of language um, that is not something i mean you know you'll get people that come on and interpret it in different ways there's no interpretation okay uh, it is offensive to uh, the jewish people of this country we've seen already another mp mike freer had his constituency office you know uh, uh, um, uh, a, a victim of uh, arson attack uh, because of the way in which uh, these protests are ongoing i mean i think time is enough you know time is up 
you know, the protests, they do need to come to an end. They're not achieving what, uh, uh, or they are achieving, actually. Um, or they, you, know, you, you can't just have a, a protest on the streets of London where businesses have to close every week, where you've got you know, people like that crackpot shouting that he supports Hamas. Where I never thought I'd say this, but I agree with Benjamin. You know, that man uh, is you know, committing an offence. The that police should be stepping in. Get but Diane because, in on this. Mike Freer is an allegation. Just have to Absolutely. Put that on record. Diane, is there a free speech argument here? Should we allow them to continue in the name of free speech? Well, I mean, we need to have the ability to be able to move as one, as the public, to sort of to, to let the people know how we feel. But as you were saying, when you have people, they, they only want it one way. We need everybody to hear our idea, but we don't want GB News broadcasting any idea that is opposite to ours. Yeah. If they're not willing to play by free speech rules, maybe they shouldn't be allowed to protest. If they willingly try to silence other groups, how is that truly listening to any argument? There were both pro-Palestine and pro-Israel protesters out today. How terrified would you be as a member of the Jewish community yeah. just moving through parts of London today mm. going, oh, great, now I can't go down this way. I guess I'll have to take a, a, a round route of the blocks. Like, it's just not fair because this aggression that you say, there were peaceful people, but there's always this nasty little small minority that seem to think it's their right to kick off and get violent. Darren, would you ban the pro-Israel protests too? Um, well, I mean, I, there haven't been every week. Have well, there they? were today. I saw pro-Israel protests, protests but and pro-Palestine the, protests. protests. Would you just ban the whole lot? Um, Darren wants us in lockdown. He wants all of us in lockdown. Do, We're not allowed to go anywhere. I do. I, you do. I, do. I know you hate people and that is understandable. Have you got what it takes to be a reasoned presenter? Well, send us a short clip of yourself to join at reasoned.uk and we might be seeing you on this very channel very soon indeed.